to be our China vlog, but uh, it's just such a huge vlog. We're still working on it, but instead you get today's vlog, which is all about our stay at Coworth Park. This is my favourite hotel in England, and I didn't even know what it's called. I called it the Ascot Hotel. So this is part of the Dorchester Group, which is one of our faves. We just ordered room service, actually, and the room service menu is all the signature dishes from all their hotels, like um, the Beverly Hills salad, which I love. Um, so we just ordered some of that. This is not a collaboration with the hotel. We stayed here before. Uh, we paid, and Paris took me here for my 30th birthday. And the view outside, although that's so... You can see my reflection. But although that's so beautiful on, like, English countryside, when you come in the summer that is full of, I think it's tulips. It's so beautiful and you can sit and have your breakfast outside. Um, so it's good to come two different types of year. I'm gonna show you the room. Uh, we are here with Panasonic Beauty. So Panas Panasonic Beauty is a brand that I've been working with for a long time. Um, and it's just a nice treat from them to us to have like a pampering night away, which is just so nice. And they even let me pick this hotel because it's my favorite. So really recommend it, never work with them, but I just, we're a huge fan. So they've organized the most beautiful room for us. We're gonna have the room service. Um, and then I think, oh, I'm gonna show you um, I'm going to show you what they left for us and the little gift that, that they left for me. So, um, it's kind of like an early Valentine's because we're away for Valentine's. So it's like a romantic, relaxing stay, even a bottle of champagne each. Now this, you can see, it's not as neat because I've already done this myself. I literally opened it as soon as I came in the room. If you want to see my natural reaction, go and head to my Insta stories. Um, oh, it is the nicest room gift ever. So when we were packing, I didn't pack my eye mask because mine is, uh, oh, I've just realized I've got the silk pillowcases to this brand. Um, mine is so gammy, I just didn't bother bringing it and then I regretted it because I can't sleep without one. And um, we've got new ones. The most beautiful chic slippers. I'm definitely not running out in the garden in there for these. This, I've been meaning to get myself one of these. You know, like just for one for your handbag. So this was so nice and I thought it was literally just this. And then I opened it. And um, it's not as pretty now because I've been messing around with it. But they got me a Le Mer, um, like face mask. And Le Mer, uh, moisturising the gel. So I'm definitely going to put the mask on tonight. And I've got my Panasonic steamer, which I try to do like once a week. Oh, that's so nice, that bag. I try to do that like once a week, and I'll normally do it on a Friday night or a Sunday night, just to clear all my pores. So I knew I was having like a pamper night. I didn't bring a mask, so that's clever that I've got that. So I think we're going to have our room service, then I'm going to have a nice bath in that beautiful copper bath that we have, and then we'll go for dinner. So that's where we are. That's what we're doing. And now I'll let you see a proper room tour. It's just not that I don't listen. It's just the way you're coming so close to me. It's just not that I don't feel the tension. It's just the way I want you to come closer. So usually we love eating room service in the bed, um, but we want to make use of this gigantic room. Not sure what that performance was. So I have vegetable soup and some salad. And he has like, I don't know, like some cock monsieur thing. Apparently is the... With the lovely views. And we're actually having dinner in a few hours, but never mind. The lighting is everywhere I go, there's a spotlight. So, I've just been having champagne in bed. We've been in bed for the past hour, so that's why I look like I've probably been asleep. But we've been watching um, Netflix, we've been watching this new series called, I think it's called Strangers. It's a British one, it's quite good actually. 
And then we've just kind of got ourselves together. Like, literally just got dressed. I've got my Bauman cardigan on, the long one. Some black trousers and my Gucci Prince Towns. Um, because I want to be relaxed, you know. So I wanted to have room service again, but Paris wants to go to the restaurant. There's two. There's a really fancy one, and then there's the barn. Uh, we went to the barn last time, and we were going to try the fancy one tonight. But I don't like fancy food, so we're going to the barn again. And I know it's nice, so we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to show you my outfit. You've seen this cardigan already, but um, I'm really casual. Literally, that is all I've got on. And then I'm going to have my I have this bag, which is from the Net Porte, like Net Net Sustain. So it's um, I'm going to show you it tomorrow actually. Some of the bits I've got for their sustainability section, and that's in it. But I think I'm just going to take this. So we're going to go for dinner now. It's in the mansion house, the restaurant Cower Park. Yeah. So you'll be able to have the breakfast uh, over there. Oh, okay. We're well, open from breakfast. seven in the morning. Talk about you when you're not here, but they don't even know your name. It's just not that I don't listen, it's just the way you're coming so close to me. It's just not that I don't feel the tension, it's just the way. look he's had a moan because he can't you can't what put on clothes without showering <laughs> look how livid he is <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time you've ever done it actually well, as long, if it's not new clothes old clothes it's okay new clothes is worse so yeah we're just going to go for breakfast real quick because we're going to the spa and i'm going to get a massage um and i wanted my breakfast to go down and then we're going to do a picture so um Outfit to sugar. Have you got the key? Yeah. I feel like Neptune's has uh, decorated this place. It's very Neptune y. We're in the Stanley suite. I love this wardrobe. Hair looks nice. Maybe you should have brushed that. Should brush them. Them, yeah. yeah. So, foreign people call hair them. English people call well, it it. One, well, in England we call it it. Um, good job you had it cut yesterday, because no, I mean it. You have to brush that hair. No, you look like a superhero. No, you look like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, superhero. But you had it cut, so it's okay. Well, the only angle I'm allowed because Paris is walking around naked so I have my um, face mask on if you think I look a bit shiny um, I didn't sleep well last night um, I don't know why because the bed's really comfy so I look really tired um, I was going to tell you so I'm a little bit red because I always get that with Le Mer face mask it must be like circulating I don't know so what did we do we went for breakfast then I came back and had a lovely bath and did a proper steam because I was so tired last night and um, put my mask on which I still have on and I've left it on because I only had a bath I didn't like shower it off because we're going to the, the spa area so I thought I'd leave it on for that um, I've got just another jumper leggings these shoes that I live in um, what else are we doing breakfast was amazing by the way like I think I said it last night but the hotel is paid I don't have to talk about the hotel and although Panasonic has sent me here this vlog is not a collaboration I don't have to talk about anything I don't have to talk show you anything I don't even have to tell you I'm with Panasonic it's not like I'm not being paid to do this vlog or anything I just wanted to show you and I love this steam so much because you literally fill it in like an iron plug it in 10 seconds the steam comes out and it's so small you can take it to things like this like if you're having like a staycation or like I do on a Friday night 
and it's so amazing like just to like purify all your pores i can't recommend it enough if you want like a basic skin routine it's so so amazing i've been using it for over two years not this exact one i've had uh, like older versions but i can't re recommend it enough so i will link that below especially this one because it's like cute rose gold white and really small so i'm just waiting for paris to get out the shower so i'm kind of like red and tired and then we're gonna go to the spa have a nice swim i'm gonna have a massage which i haven't i can't remember last time i had a massage and then we go home and um lots of work to do we've got to edit this vlog for sunday i'm gonna film a haul for you um and that's the plan so i'll take you to the spa with me so you can see it I don't care. because we just got back my dad stayed here oh did you miss me bamboo lady oh um you want to sit with me uh, so we just got back uh oh it's friday night and i just wanted to talk through some of the sustainable brands and pieces you have to sit down there sorry that i promised i'd do when i got back so um we feel so relaxed. I've still got all the oil in my hair. Um, it was so relaxing. We both said that we cut, we forgot how lovely it is to do that, like doing a staycation because you're not traveling or getting a plane where you feel exhausted. And I think that two hours, three max is really good because you feel like it's enough to go away. Like you've gone away from where you live, but it's not too strenuous with the traveling or the driving. Um, and it was just so nice and I know it sounds silly but for me to 100% relax I'm cringing saying this but if I go somewhere like what I've just done and I get like a nice photo or some nice content that for me is the cherry on the top and I've really enjoyed it because I feel like I've been productive and I got to do that so I, I obviously went there with Panasonic which was half kind of like a treat um because we're all about it's all about beauty what we do and just showcasing the the bits that, that i work on with them like the steamer the hair dryer that you know i love just a way of like i'll go and have like a pamper night on us with all of our favorite products so although it was working and i did shoot a photo for them the rest of it was completely like completely down to us um and then I took one, some of these pieces with me and I did manage to shoot a picture. Like it wasn't really planned, but I did it and it came out amazing. So, and, and also I was saying to Paris, you know that roll top copper bath? Well, if you look at Frogmore House, I think it's called Frogmore House, um, Meghan Markle and Harry's English countryside house, it looks so like Coworth Park from the outside. Obviously Coworth Park is gigantic, but their house is big as well. And she used to stay there a lot. And when they renovated their house, the only thing that like the public know that she'd done to the interiors, because it's obviously private, is it got leaked that she had a copper bath. And she definitely based her house on that. Because, I mean, I would as well if I had unlimited budget, which she clearly did have. Um, yes, that was one thing I thought I'd tell you, but I love it there. So nice. Um, Rip my box. Um, I have to tell you this story. So those of you that are following me on Instagram, this has been one of the most things I've had like a DM about. Um, it's definitely up there with the top 10. So so many of you have seen this. Some of you following me on Instagram may have missed it. Some of you I know don't even follow me on Instagram. Psst, you need to follow. I'm uncomfortable with this box here. So I'll tell you the story of what happened. So I was dressed like this just so that you can envision. Um, probably worse in real life because um, I mean I, I mean I don't look great but I've got a ring light on me so probably look worse in in, in the flesh um, so we're about to leave and I was literally eating a soup 
um, and the car was here and he, Paris has already eaten so we decided that he would go and take all of the stuff to the car that was waiting outside so that he wasn't waiting and I'm slow at eating so I'll, I'll be another five minutes. So he gets up leaving me sitting there, um, I think it's like 2pm at this point and he gets up deadly serious and Paris talks quite loud I'm forever saying to him shh shh but it looked so real and so realistic because he speaks quite loud but he was trying to be discreet like obviously he t intended for people to hear I think but it seemed real because he was trying to be discreet but clearly everyone around could hear where he'd got a natural loud voice so I'm sitting here there's two ladies there um, and the whole place is full up really like a lounge sofa here like there's women everywhere there's waitresses and um, for those of you that know where this Dorchester Hotel is, it's, it's in a nice part of England, it's like very wealthy women all there with their gorgeous handbags and like I actually saw a lot of fur coats which I was, I'm not used to seeing actually. So do, are you going to eat right next to the camera? Chewing? That's bad me, decided to bring her dinner over here. So you get the picture, as he's got up and walked off with, with his like carry bag to go, he says to me, deadly serious. Thanks for a great night. I'll see you next month when the wife is away again. No smile, walks off. Normally, we, we both joke around like this all of the time. I mean, I don't say any crude jokes or anything, but we do constantly joke around. And I would normally say, oh, don't worry, he's joking. But I just, I was so embarrassed, I couldn't even say anything. I was eating my soup. I couldn't even... I couldn't even find the words to say, no, he's joking. They looked at me in disgust. And then I'm sitting here, I've got leggings on. I've got just a plain jumper on. The oil for my hair has actually dried a bit, so it did look worse then. And I'm eating, and they probably thought, because I've said this before to my friends, like, when you find out a guy is cheating, it happened to me as well, they tend to, like, go with plain James, or you know when, like, someone's cheating on a celebrity, there's a saying that they cheat with like a plain Jane and why do men do this? So I was literally just mortified and then I'm thinking, oh, they're probably like, oh, she's a plain Jane, like, she's not even nothing special. It's not like she's glamorous sitting, oh, I just, my mind ran away with me. I was so embarrassed. I couldn't even eat the rest of my soup and I just went. I was so embarrassed so I just cannot wait to get him back. I cannot wait. Um, yes, that was this little story that I thought I'd share with you, six minutes in. So, let's just get on with these bits that I wanted to show you. So, nothing in this vlog, vlog is sponsored. Um, I do work with Panasonic, explain that, but this vlog is nothing to do with, you know, I just thought I'd vlog our little staycation. Um, and I am working on the net a um net sustain, sustainability campaign, but it's just for, like, imagery content, nothing to do with video content or YouTube content. But it's something that I really want to speak about and definitely want to show you more of it, especially this, because I love it so much. Um, oh, it's funny. I never knew what brand this was. So I love this brand. It's a brand from Beirut, and I love all their bags. I um, shot their feather bag in LA, and it's a really amazing go-to brand for an evening bag, and I have lots of pearl bags. Um, but this is a really nice quality and if you just want like a nice evening bag or summer bag, this is probably the best handbag company to go to for evening bags that are accessible prices. Like luxury but like reasonable prices. So I didn't actually know the brand, I just picked it because I liked it. So the reason why I picked all this stuff and how I picked it, um, none of these are things I bought by the way, it is for this campaign. Um, and I'll link it below, but they have a whole section that's like sustainability. So ev every brand is put in there. That's why I didn't even know half of these brands that I picked. Like I know the brand, but I didn't even bother looking at the brand because it was about what the product was and if I like liked it or not. Um, so yeah, I didn't even know what brand that was. There's like Nanushka in there, Ganny's in there. Um, all the Vanguard brands that I spoke to you about in my up and coming new designers. And if you really just want to make a conscious effort, because we're all trying to do our best and make an effort of this, we all are now. Um, so even if you're like, okay, I'm just going to get two t-shirts where I know they're sustainable products and sustainable fabrics, 
you can just look up the t-shirts in there you want one knitwear you want you know they have a bit of everything like swimwear literally they have everything accessories so if you just want to have a look you could even put your whole wardrobe together so it's such a great foot forward to introduce something that you know is 100 percent sustainable and everyone's come so far with this now it's not like these eco brands that like oh excuse me they're not these eco brands that we that we want to wear them but really it's like grass dress that is too earth-like like these actually nice well-known brands that are making a conscious effort with sustainability so i was really surprised about that so that's the bag i shot that today so if you want to see what these look like i will try and put together um because it's friday night it's really late i've got to iron my bed sheets um so i'm so excited about that i was telling paris in the card he was like yeah so excited and i was like yeah isn't it and then i realized i was being sarcastic so i treated myself to some amazing luxury bed sheets from harrods um they're not like extortionate they're, they're white company but they're like the highest quality and i'm i always get nice bed sheets but these are the highest sweat count i've had um, I've washed them, I'm going to iron them, I'm going to put them on my bed. Our bedside cabinets are coming tomorrow. I'm so excited. So I want to literally spend hours doing that tonight. And I'm addicted to that new Netflix show, Strangers. Honestly, you have to watch it. It's Sunday, this vlog is going out Sunday. Watch it tonight. It is so good. So yeah, I just want to watch that and iron my bed sheets. So I shot this today. Um, Again, just to be completely transparent, this this is the safety clip. Be quiet! This is a safety pin. Safety pin. So I could just take this off. Yada yada. Here is my thing. This is not my cardigan. This um, was to look at all the sustainable brands, show you about them, style them, and you know it's part of the campaign. So just to be transparent about that. But this is beautiful. This is from Byte, which is a brand that I already spoke to you about with um, the Vanguard. There is, I think I've got a picture of me wearing a jumper. If I do have a picture, I'll put it out. I love the exaggerated um, collar. It's like a lovely, chunky knit, perfect grey, has a tie. It's so thick, it's like almost a coat. Um, and I wore it as a coat, actually. I wore it over this, so that's why it's quite chunky on me. Thought it's a spider back down there, but it's fluff. So this is a perfect example of a nice knitwear that you can invest in for for winter, all year round for here, for England. And it's a sustainable product that, you know, you're making a difference by, you know, we're all making a difference by trying to invest in sustainable fabrics and brands. Um, and Byte is pretty much solely focused on sustainability so a great brand to look into you can go head up to my instagram to see how that looks that should be on my instagram already this i haven't worn but i'm going to shoot this tomorrow so it should be on my instagram as well by monday um i loved this this is very much that style that alexander rich started and then zara did one similar there's a, a one like this that a lot of people have and then there's the thicker version which i have the thicker version so but this is a lovely it looks itchy but it's not it's a really lovely knit perfect biscuit color um and it would look really great with like a vest top underneath or like a brown like a brown knitted vest top which i have from zara um and i planned on wearing this oh no i just saw seen that seen that i meant to wear this yesterday but i left it on the side so this is a blue shirt a baby blue shirt emma willis um slim fit i won't wear it for a large because it's slim fit and it is very slim but just for a classic i wanted to make sure i pick classic pieces that like pieces that i really love i always buy shirts um i mean not all the time i just always make sure i have a nice white black or baby blue shirt and i wear them to death until they die basically so if you want to invest, you know, one for work or just wear one every day like me, another great see like you can literally get a bit of everything on there. So I would love to wear that open with this. Also thought it would look great, great with the pearl bag. So hopefully you'll be able to see this on my Instagram. If it's not there now, it will be in the next couple of days. And made sure that I picked a tea. Basic. 
I think that's called. So I love khaki, it's definitely a colour of the season. Um, and this was just a brand that I wanted to make sure that you could find a classic tee. This is a really classic, nice fit for me anyway, because I like things that are baggy. And I went a size up as well. Um, just to show you, a starting point is good for a tee that's sustainable. Um, yep, so that's that. And they had some amazing tracksuits. They had a really amazing one by Stella McCartney. And I really wanted to buy that, but it was sold out. I'll link it below. I'm sure they'll get a restock. It was so beautiful. Really loved it. So I picked up this one instead. Um, it's called 90%. It's like an off black tracksuit. And I live in tracksuits. I love styling them up with, not even styling them up, but wear them with a nice pair of trainers. I wear them with my Gucci Prince Towns. Definitely invest in a pair of Gucci Prince Towns because they are so comfortable. I mean, it's freezing outside and I was wearing mine all weekend, but it's fine because I'm not like I'm walking around from inside most of the time. Um, lovely blazer, lovely leather jacket. I really love joggers, especially like working at home. So I'm dressed, but you know, I can pop out. So I just loved the off black of this and I was really excited to find a tracksuit on there. And there's a hoodie as well, which I'm going to show you. I think, obviously I'll link all my bits below, but I think that you, um, I've got my Manolo's in there from dinner, which I didn't wear and I wore my Gucci Prince Downs. Um, yeah, I'll link all these below, but I'll definitely link the sustainable page because I definitely think you should have a look at that. And that's the matching hoodie. I quite like the green drawstring detail as well. It feels really nice, like really thick. There's a nice tracksuit there. Love a tracksuit because I always mix and match and wear them separately. Um, and that's it. Got my hair dryer in there. Got my Bauman cardigan in there that you've all seen before. I wore that to dinner last night. Got a couple of other deliveries that I've bought, but um, I think I'll leave that to next week's vlog. Next week I am filming. What am I doing? The China vlog should be out Wednesday, if not Sunday for sure. I love that vlog. Make sure you watch that one. Um, if you're into interior design, you definitely should watch that one. Um, then I'm going to be doing a handbag. Leave me a comment below. I was going to do like my top five handbags. Maybe ending on, if you're going to invest in a luxury bag, this is the one I would choose. What do you think about that? So I think that's what I'm going to do. But what do you think I should do? Try and make it like, like I'm not ready to do luxury bag under £500 or best bag for under £500. I physically don't have anything like that to show you. So go and buy my bags. If you don't know what bags I have, there's a big picture on my Instagram of all my bags or a handbag video. Would you be happy with my top five handbags and the number one luxury bag you should invest in? Are you happy with that? If not, leave me a comment below of what kind of handbag video you would like because I feel like I want to do one like that. And then I'm going to do a vlog, just me in the next week vlogging. And I'm going to show you all those bits I bought from Zara because I don't often do big high street shops and it's not that big. But um, they are actually pieces that I would keep for ages. Because basically everything that I bought, I have in my wardrobe forever. Like Zara is so good at the moment. So I'm going to finally show those Zara bits. Um, yeah, that's it. Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm sure there's something else I need to tell you. But anyway, now I'm going to iron my bed sheets. I'll leave you with that. And I might even show you what it looks like with the bedside cabinet tomorrow if I remember to vlog. So I hope you enjoyed this um, vlog. I will leave the link to the Panasonic steamer that I swear by. Like, look at my skin. I think it looks really nice. I've got no foundation on. I use, um, I did my makeup really fast after the spa. I wasn't gonna put any makeup on but because we was going for lunch, I did. And because my face was like so smooth, I like putting makeup on the smooth skin. So I have that Chanel, like Soleil, like shimmer thing, you know. I always wear that. And then I've got a Charlotte Tilbury blusher, Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow, Benefit Mascara, my Charlotte Tilbury pack I got from Netta Porte, I'll link that below, I love this colour combination, I forgot what I was even telling you. But yeah, it made my skin so smooth, um, definitely link that below, I'll do a new link to the hairdryer as well, because um, yeah, you're going to want anything to be linked, that's going on in my bed sheets on a Friday night.
It's just the ironing board, okay? Ready? Yep, she's freaked out. So when I, when we first moved in here, I said to Paris, can you get the iron board out for me and, and just set it up? Um, and I come in here where the TV is, obviously, because like what woman do you not know that does an iron in front of the TV? So I come in here, he's watching a film that we planned on watching. And I said, where, where's my ironing board? He said, I set it up for you like you asked for. I said, but it's not here. And he said, it's in the utility room. Go in the utility room and it's like facing the wall. And our utility room is nice, but it's not the biggest. And I said, I'm not a cleaner that you've hired, like the maid that you had growing up. Like, I'm your wife doing the ironing on a Friday night and I'm gonna watch TV with you. He was like, oh, makes me die. Like the difference in like growing up, like, bless his mum, she does an iron. Well, she no, that's a lie, she does iron. And she irons loads of our stuff if we help her. So that's a lie, she does. But as like, you know, the everyday, the weekly ironing, she doesn't. And um, so he's obviously been used to like, the house maid or whatever, I don't know, cleaning the new utility room. And it makes me laugh so much. And we like, all these years on, we still laugh about it. <laughs> Not done it properly because we're like literally about to get in bed. I'm gonna take my makeup off and oh, it's so soft. Then we're gonna watch Strangers. Then hopefully the bedside cabinets arrive after months of ordering them, like literally months. It's taken so long. And then I'll show you how it looks tomorrow. And then all we need is new curtains, new blinds, and a radiator. And then I can show you properly, show you the wardrobes. But, um, um, no, no, and I'll see you tomorrow on Saturday. So, um, I've had to really rush the bed because I'm 10 minutes late meeting my friends. And then I started clearing up all this for the filming. And um, then I just thought, no, this is real life. This is what I have to deal with. There was 25 cups under the bed. Um, I've done my side neatly, but I just gave up because I don't want... Like normally I tuck it in, says neatly, not. Um, yeah, I'm going for lunch with my one of my best friends, Helen, and uh, one of our friends that we've known for years. She just had a little baby. So, um, here's me. So the mirrors, I still love these mirrors. These are gonna go on the wall mounted. The cabinets are the ones to match the bed. Literally, you can see the one in the reflection. Literally took four months, I think. Um, very annoying. We're reluctant to order the cabinet like this for upstairs uh, to match the other bed because it's just such a long way. Need new radiator. And I want new blinds, but um, Paris likes these ones. So I don't know whether it's the first option where he says he truly likes them. And let me um, just have a quick look at this. La, 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 la. I'm going to put some books down there. So um, I'm so rushed because I really don't want to be late any more late for my friends. But yeah, I don't know whether he wants to keep these. You know, I don't want to. I pick a lot of the stuff and he don't, really doesn't care. But if he says, oh, I like that or I want that, I usually do it because I want him, you know, it's his house as well. Um, so I, I don't know whether it's that. I'm pretty sure it's the second one because I'm going to hassle him with blind samples. I'm quite good at that because I know he's like basically colour blind so I don't really ask him. I always check before I buy it, do you like this? Um, then, he, then he's got to install it and of course this all costs money so I think he's just saying he likes them for the sake of it. But I don't mind them, I'm not in a rush, I'm quite slow at doing things. I've not got anything like, to prove or deadline or anything so I think I'll take my time, same with the chandelier. Um, just need the radiator now, but the sheets were an absolute dream. My Timothy Alton shilling cushion is a dream. I just want a nice blanket and a radiator. And then I'm pretty much done, but it was just such a dream. 
to like watch TV. We got in bed at half seven. I was so relaxed. Um, um, well, yeah, it was just amazing. I had the best night. Well, say the best night's sleep, the best night in a long time. But yeah, I'm really happy. It's quite simple what, what we wanted, but he, he's happy with it as well. The TV is so good. We've upgraded our Netflix to like the HD one. It's like £2 a month. It's nothing. And I was just like loving life last night. So um, not the most um, sensational vlog, but it's just literally what I've done the last two days. Um, definitely recommend a staycation or something, like even a spa day with your friends or mum or something. Definitely recommend that. Um, I forgot how revitalising it is. Um, yep, yeah, come back, done the ironing, done the bed sheets, going for lunch with my friends. So yeah, tomorrow I'm, I'm filming some videos, so do let me know about the handbag thing. Um, got that Zara haul coming up, uh, so make sure you, you, would, you subscribe. That would mean a lot to me if you would press the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one, which should be the China vlog as well. So have a really nice Sunday and a good week tomorrow.